Hey guys, Dr. Kahu here, and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be doing a continuation what if, and that is, what if Goku became immortal, part 6. Now as usual guys, if you guys can, please like and subscribe, leave your comments down below, leave the bell notification on so you guys can be the first to get my new content, and follow me on my Minecraft stream at night time guys, when I get into it and make funny uh, kind of command block commands, because I would like to make a, a custom map on my own, you know, so I can enjoy it myself, you'll see eventually over a period of time, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it, and like that, I hope you guys all take care of you guys selves, you know, the world's still not in a 100% um, state, I guess, so um, take care of you guys selves, okay, regardless, but yeah, without further ado guys, let's get into this next part of this what if, and that is, what if Goku became immortal, part 6, so let's begin. Previously what happened in the last what if, Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Trunks and pretty much everyone that is associated with the Cell games went to go, tr went to go train after the 10 days that Cell gave them. Bear in mind when Cell came he, he easily eclipsed Goku's power, so every one of them trained their hearts out. Piccolo pretty much got a different type of power boost and, and not only that he got a new role. Piccolo not only got stronger, but he merged with Kami's power and now he's just ridiculously strong Super Namekian, but he's the fourth strongest. And then it goes Gohan, then Vegeta, then Goku. Now bear in mind, Vegeta and, and Gohan are way more powerful than their canon counterparts. And, and Super Saiyan 1, or because Super Saiyan 1 in general, they're more powerful than their canon counterparts, you know? They're more powerful than Super Saiyan 2. So this will lead to a big deal. Now back to Goku. When Goku um, then go to the Cell games, he ends up fighting Cell. Just to realise that Cell is so much more powerful, but Goku also became powerful. He managed to separate 17 and 18 and kill Cell. Only for another for Cell to reappear with a different attitude, but more powerful. And as Cell and Goku both relinquish in their immortality and stare at each other and get excited for the long battle that's ahead. That's where we last left that world off, guys. So let's begin. Goku looks at Cell and smiles and goes, "So you're immortal, right?" And Cell goes, "Mm-hmm. Yes, I am. Just like you, Goku. You just haven't noticed yet." Goku goes, I, "Oh, I've noticed." I know it's a while now. I can't be oblivious, oblivious to it. Giant ape breaks my back and I instantaneously heal. Yeah, that's something. I don't run into energy when I use Kaioken times 100. Yep, that's something. And so I was like, hmm. And all of that you're telling me, you're making me stronger. Do you know that, Goku? Goku goes, oh, I know that. But I have one thing you do not have. And so has, what's that? Boom, Goku appears right in front of Sal and punches him right in the face, sends him blind. I have a heart. Goku grabs Cell really fast and slams him to the ground, kicks him across the um, the area, and they begin to battle again. Cell's like, <laughs> all of this is futile, Goku. No matter what you do, I don't need Android 1718 now to complete my form. I have your DNA. I have the DNA of my original counterpart from this timeline, meaning I am perfect already. My cells have fully evolved. Goku can begin to beat Cell down against good. That means I can keep beating you down until you get stronger, and then we become equals, and I can beat you down again. So I was like, <laughs> your game is going to end sooner or later, Goku. And then you're going to realize that it's just going to be me and you. Goku gets really irritated, kicks out around the face, scatters him across the ground. And this is when they all talk to each other. Goku looks back at everyone and kind of makes a um, telepathic link with everyone. And tells them, this is not looking good. If, if things go the way it does, Vegeta, I need you to go and save, save my family, save everyone. Piccolo, make sure you have the Dragon Balls ready. Piccolo's already told Goku, he goes, you already summoned the Dragon Balls. Be reminded they have two sets of Dragon Balls. The Namekian Dragon Balls that sits within the pocket dimension on Earth, within within the little island of Namek, and the, the Earth Dragon Balls to which Piccolo is gathered. Piccolo states that he, he's, he's already ready. And so Goku's happy with that. Sal gets up and goes, you know I can hear everything right. I have all your guys' powers. Sal gets in the fighting position and he goes, well, come on Goku. You're in a bad way, right? Goku smiles and goes, <laughs> I should I should have known that. He goes, nicely done, Sal. Get your powers up even more. We can be pushing this power level more and more and more. And Sal's like, hmm. I see. You want to see how I get how this ends? This is how it ends, Goku, with me and you fighting non-stop forever. And this planet's nothing but dust. Nothing but the universe will exist while our battle continues. Don't you see that, Goku? We're on a fantastic stage of reality. You're the only one that can give my reality um, sustenance, Goku. 
So fill the void! Sal rushes into Goku and throws a punch. Well, this time Goku didn't move. Even the whole time Sal was talking, Goku was looking at him and then Goku closed his eyes. Remember Sal's fist hits Goku's face? Goku's head tilts. And Sal's like, hmm. You see, this is inevitable true power, Goku. Bask in my glory. Because no matter what, I will eventually surpass you and then I'll be your better. And then when time comes, Goku, I'll seal your way and I'll eat you, I'll eat you all entirely. Goku's like, eat me? That's a little bit weird. And he goes, he goes to Goku, <laughs> you do not understand what weird is. He, so he lifts, up the, lifts his hands up, makes a mini earthquake and throws debris at Goku. Goku's easy there, but dodge it. Okay, Goku realizes that Cell's only using this as a distraction, you know? And he's absolutely right. Because as Goku, as Cell does that, Cell goes, hmm, time to have some fun. He spits out some Cell Juniors, pretty similar to Canon, and makes him fight everyone. While Goku fights him, and Cell goes, Cell goes, I have made many versions to myself that were as strong as my previous version to myself. These four will go fight your friends and test their metal. While they're battling, if they, send, if they fall, well, this is on you, Goku. You need to figure out how you are going to beat me. <laughs> Goku goes, Gah. You think this is a game, Sal? And he goes, Oh, yes, this is a game. I was created by Dr. Jiro for this very purpose. I was meant to kill you right away. But the Saiyan in me has awoken fully. And I would like to see where this goes. Long story short, Goku, as I have already stated, you are stuck with me. And Goku realized. <laughs> Yes, you know what? You're absolutely right. Well, Goku appears by Cell and punches Cell in the gut. But this time he punches him differently. Goku remembers something. He remembers something that Cell said. And as he punches Cell, energy in into Cell's body and Cell feels it. And he feels like a split in his body. He's like, ugh! What kind of punch was? And he realizes that Goku's yard dread training. Goku grabs um, Cell's head and slams him to the ground. And Goku kicks um, Cell again right on the side. His body, his cells begin to erupt. His body goes into a weird instant metamorphosis. Cell gets up like, what are you doing? Vegeta's like, ha, I see what you're doing, Kakarot. And as Vegeta goes to rush in, Cell Jr. kicks Vegeta in the face. And the Cell Juniors begin to destroy the team, beating them up so easily, so badly. Goku's watching and Cell's like, <laughs> He goes, well, what's the matter, Goku? You're, you're too busy distracted. Boom, she's a death beam right at Goku's chest. Goku hits the ground. He's like, <sighs> and Cell's like, <laughs> This is all a game to me. Even if you die, I still have a, I still have a training plan to go through. I can fight myself and get stronger. <laughs> what need do I have for you, Goku? And Sal stands over Goku and goes, Now it's time for you to be a part of me. Sal's tail go comes out, and as he's about to stab Goku, Goku smiles. He goes, You're just so great, Sal. Thank you. And Sal's like, hmm. Boom! Goku stands up as hard as he can. He puts all his force, all his power, all his strength into one hard punch. He connects the punch with Cell's gut and forces his fist right through. And as he hits Cell, Cell Goku manages to stabilize his energy just enough for him to um, cause a mini spiritual fusion within Cell's body. Cell begins to um, like he starts to become erratic. His body starts to become, uh, implode in pain. He's like, "What the hell? What did you do? Ugh, what did you?" And Vegeta, right, Vegeta manages to get space between him and Cell Junior, and he rushes in with the instant transmission. And as Sal looks right at Goku, he doesn't see Vegeta behind him. Vegeta runs and pretty much hits, pretty much flies in and hits Sal so hard behind the back of the head, using the same spirit, spirit fission technique. And Vegeta punches Sal's head right off his body, explodes it, and then Goku lands. Uh, Vegeta lands and Goku goes, "You didn't think you ever did it, didn't you, Vegeta?" And Vegeta goes, huh, "I knew what you were doing, Kakarot, and I overheard the stupid alien, this alien creature, whatever the hell it is." It has, has a piece of you in here. The piece of you that's from this universe. Goku's like, Yeah, I was trying to get to it, but slowly, you know. Vegeta goes, We have no damn time for this, Kakarot. Goku looks at the Cell Juniors, and as the Cell Junior is about to kill Trunks, Goku appears, he instantly kills one Cell Junior, and kills the other two um, right away. The last Cell Junior that was fighting Gohan goes to rush at him, but Piccolo instantly grabs and wraps him around, and does a mess like a type of bomb explosion. That kills the Cell Jr. destroys Piccolo's arms, but he grows it instantly. Gohan's like, thank you, Mr. Piccolo. Piccolo's like, hmm, don't worry, kid. As they look over, Cell's, Cell's still in, in, in a kind of like a grotesque state. His body's growing bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller, transforming into semi-perfect Cell, then imperfect Cell, then Cell at the same time. Like, Cell's like, I know what you've done, and it's not gonna work. 
I do. I, I, so I was trying to hold his body together and trying to keep the piece of him that um, Goku was trying to get out. And Goku goes, you know what, Vegeta? You always be, you, you have been better than me at this. Go have your fun. Vegeta's like, ha, rushes in. And so I was like, you better get away, Vegeta. So it powers up and manages to throw a punch. But Vegeta manages to dodge it and throws a, a direct punch into Sal's chest. And then Vegeta starts to give multiple volleys to Sal's body after throwing um, that first punch. Sal gets stunned and as Vegeta works Sal's body out um, to the max, Sal pretty much is in a bad way. His body can't heal or come back together. And this, Vegeta's like, if I was you, you pathetic creature, I would stay down. And Sal's like, I am the perfect being. Vegeta goes, perfect or not, you still have flaws, just like any other species. <clears throat> and Goku smiles, and Vegeta goes, and if I was to kill you now, I will start all over again. Boom, Vegeta kicks Sal right in the face. And kicking Sal in the face, that was the final straw. Sal's body begins to uh, um, instantly start to uh, go in a bad way, you know, to the point where he spits out the tiny Cell. But it's not just a tiny Cell, it's a little Cell type of junior kind of character. And all, all fairness is, is a Cell Junior. And when Vegeta sees this, he's about to kill it, but then he sees this kid. And what happens is, Vegeta realizes that even if he was even if he was strong enough to kill it, it will come back to life thanks to the immortality that it has from Goku. So I was like, so I was on the ground, his body shaking, it's alive and coming out of his mouth. He's just in absolute agony. Vegeta walks straight out to um, Sal and he goes, "You had you had all the chance in the world to kill us, but your ego got in your way. That will not be the same with me." Vegeta opens hands up and goes, "Time to die! Big bang attack!" There's a big big bang attack. So I looks at it. And as the attack hits Cell, what happens? It engulfs him completely, but it doesn't. It doesn't engulf him enough for the stoppers um, parts of his organs and limbs to fly out. And as his arm, a piece of arms begins to fly out, thanks to his own design, a, uh, a kind of green barrier appears around Vegeta's attack. Cell's arm gets pushed back in it, and, and the green barrier is held. Seventeen wakes up, and he looks at them, and he's using his ability to hold the barrier around Cell. He's in absolute pain. And he knew what happened. He has all the information from Cell upon what Cell was and the purpose of 17 and 18 and all that jazz. So 18, 17 or Cell doesn't want to become like any form of battery. So as he holds the battery up, Vegeta's big bang attack consumes the Cell, wiping him out entirely. And as, as the, the, well, the, the air and the dust disappears within the barrier, 17 lets it go, falls to the ground. Vegeta looks at 17 and goes, interesting. But well, this is when the little Cell Junior begins to, begins to uh, move. The little Cell Junior on the ground stands up and begins to grow. And then it stands up and walks over and goes, Did you really think it was that easy, Vegeta? Vegeta looks right at him and goes, What the? And he's like, Hmm, I may be small, but I'm still the same Cell you just killed. Pretty sure about that. Vegeta looks at him, but he doesn't feel no intensity or evil in, in general, actually. He looks right at him and he's like, what the? And Sal goes, oh, I'm still Sal. But I was the Sal that was imprisoned within another. And I can tell you right now, that was absolutely disgusting. Yes, I'm in the perfect form, but this is all my lot, I guess. Would you just say, what, so you're stuck in that little form? It's pretty much. And so everyone, everyone actually thought, well, they have a happy ending, but Sal himself is right there. But you goes, so what are you gonna do? Are you gonna are you gonna to be like the uh, your previous incarnation? And Sal goes, no. He failed due to his own stupidity, forgetting that you guys have the ability to forcefully split situations apart. Yeah, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have been as stupid as he was. That's the defining difference between he and me. And Vegeta goes, interesting. Piccolo goes, I could seal him away. And Sal hears this, no, please, I am not like that one. I'm not like my original, come on, give me a chance. And then Cell quotes exactly how Goku gave him a chance, he goes, he goes if that was the case though, if you don't, don't even just show me a, a sense of leniency, take in consideration what Goku done for all the use. If it wasn't for Goku, you guys all would be dead. Right? He let you guys live, even though you guys were as bad as people can get. Vegeta, Piccolo, and Piccolo stops her. <laughs> Funny kid. You're absolutely right. And Vegeta goes, yeah, he is. And leans over and goes, 
interesting thing though is he still retains Sal's power. And, he, and, and the Sal Jr. goes, not quite. I'm not as powerful as my future counterpart. However, I will become strong in my own time. And Goku goes, hmm. He looks at Sal and ponders whether he should train Sal. But Pukulo top contacts Goku and goes, maybe this is it. Maybe I found Kami's perfect guardian. Goku looks at Pukulo and goes, what? And he goes, Sal is made up of everyone's DNA that's here. One way or another, we have defended this world from our outside influences. Meaning, he is by part us. Our reality. He has everything for me and Kami. Meaning, he has the capacity to create Dragon Balls. Goku's like, huh? I didn't think about that. And then Pukulo goes, not only that. But if he's actually... Hmm. No. That's exactly how it's going to be. It's decided. You kid, you're coming with us. So I was like... Where are we going? You're not gonna sell me away, are you? And Pokemon goes, hm, I have much more grander plans for you, young one. Everyone looks at each other, dumbfounded that, that this ordeal is over. This whole ordeal is over. Trunks is like, that was easy. And Goku goes, yeah, it's because of. And Vegeta goes, it's all because of me. Kakara would be punching the wall for ages, not doing nothing. But it's all because of me. And Vegeta goes, ha <laughs> Goku looks at Vegeta and goes, Yeah, I'll give that to you, Vegeta. It was because of you. Thank you, you saw my folly in this. Vegeta smiles to you and goes, <laughs> Everyone goes and celebrate. They go have a feed, some food, you know, and they celebrate at Bomber's house. And this is when Young Trunks talks about how he's going to go back to his world and fix his time period. Goku and Vegeta tells Trunks to uh, on the train with the spiritual control that they have taught him. Utilize his power fully. Don't slack off. And not only that, Piccolo even taught Trunks a unique ability. Well, actually, no, Goku taught uh, Trunks a unique ability. And he goes, if you need someone strong enough to train with you, and everyone that you revive is done up to your level, Trunks, Goku teaches Trunks how to force um, spiritual control, the idea of making a kind of shadow coin. When he makes that clear, Goku goes, now you have a direct copy of yourself. Once you have this copy, you can train and increase your battle potential, your power, you know? And Trunks smiles and sees Goku's plan. And he goes, thank you, Goku. I really appreciate this. Goku goes, you're welcome, Trunks. Everyone says goodbye to Trunks as he heads back to his world to make a better and brighter future. And we'll touch upon that story upon in a later episode. And as Trunks leave, everyone smiles. Chichi and them all go, well, it's over, right? And Goku goes, yeah. Oh, before we before we go, um, head home, I'd like to introduce you guys to someone. He goes, Junior. Um, Sal walks out because he calls himself, his name is Sal Junior, but he calls himself Junior. He walks out, he's, he's, he looks like a Sal Jr. in all, all, all tense of fashion, but he's not at the same time. He bows to everyone. Pukulo goes, he's the upcoming future guardian of Earth. And what happened? Everyone like, ponders at what? And uh, Pukulo goes, hmm, are you really good? And Sal goes, yeah, I am. He looks at everyone, he, th- he thanks everyone for, um, well, pretty much freeing him. 17, 18 do their own thing, of course. But Sal was really grateful that they freed him. Freed him from the nightmare of being trapped within his other's body, you know? All the DNA that the other cell absorbed of Goku went into this this body, you know? So he didn't re- the other cell didn't really adapt to get all the powers. <laughs> so they think. But what happens is, as as Cell um, and Piccolo leave, Goku and Vegeta, they both forget each other and they tell them each other they're going to continue training. Goku heads off home with um, Chi Chi as Vegeta begins to train with his family. And so, as the story goes, I want to state not seven years has passed, but almost eight years, okay? Extra year passes, okay? And they all have a catch up, they all gather together, you know? All meet up. And around that time, Vegeta's brother, Kaba, is going to come to Earth. Because if you, uh, I think in the canon storyline, Kaba, Kaba comes, uh, Kaba, um, Tabu, my bad. My bad, it's Tabu, not Kaba. Kaba's Universe 6 fighter. <laughs> Tabu. Now, Vegeta's brother comes to Earth, I think, rather, a couple of months after the Boo saga. And because this is a year later, I'm just gonna say he comes a year later to fit the narrative. As he comes, Abba and Kari come, and that, that whole storyline goes the same. But it's um, Goten and Trunks that, um, it, that they both destroy Abba and Kari. And when they merge, they get destroyed easy by the two boys with nephews. So, all in all, the storyline 
um, with Cab uh, Cabo with um, Tabo relatively goes the same. However, this is where the boost saga is going to begin. As Abu and Cardi leave, they're kind of disappointed. At the same time, they're they're happy over the idea that they don't need to hunt Tabo. But what ended up happening is a wizard gets into their mind. He starts to um, fill them up with false hope, lies, hatred, anger. Gives them power, increases their power. And so what happens? They accept it and they become uh, Majin, Abo, and Majo Kari. And in doing so, what happens is they unintentionally become his henchmen. And they, they live within a ship. Now, Babri is smart. He, he waits for the next six months. He didn't rush in straight away to revive um, Majin Buu. He's really, he's really smart and meticulous. This time he waits. And so as he gathers his own force to build up, you know, Supreme Kai eventually comes to Earth. Bear in mind there's no tournament. It says Supreme Kai comes to Earth and he appears on the lookout. He walks forward and this is where Master Popo bows and goes, Welcome to Kamen's lookout. I am Mr. Popo, his attendant. How may I help you? And Kabido walks over to him and goes, they pretty much have a standing structure like we do, Shin. Shin smiles and goes, Well then, give him the same respect that we we, we, are, we are deserved then. And Kibito's like, Yes, Shin. It is good to meet you, Mr. Popo. I am Kibito, the attendant to the, to the Supreme Kai, Shin. And so Mr. Popo hears Supreme Kai, and he freezes on the spot. Piccolo walks forward with Cell, and Piccolo sees um, Shin. And as they make contact and talk, Piccolo can sense the god key within Shin. Sense the unique power within him. And Sal just listens and learns, you know? And then long story short, Shin explains everything. Babidi, all the jazz, and Majin Buu, and this shocks Piccolo. Shocks him so that um, he needs to move the um, lookout tower to go find the area. And so Piccolo and Shin spend the next few hours uh, flying around the world trying to find Babidi's ship. Piccolo trying to chase, trace the magic until he realizes he knows what he can do. He contacts Baba using um, using his telepathy. Baba's like guardian, and he asks her if he, she can use you do a tracking spell upon any negative, dark, evil magic that's on this planet that has well a higher power level of any magic user that should be. And she goes right on the guardian. And so as she begins to make a, a, a tracking formula to find find them, Piccolo um, um, instantly um, contacts Goku and Vegeta. Now back, back at Mount Palsu, because Goku's close relationship with Vegeta and Bowman and all that, Goku has a better, they have a better living space, better house, Goku has his own training chamber and everything. So Goku is really strong, not only that, Goten and, and Gohan, they are strong in themselves. Gohan is a scholar still. I must still give this to Gohan, he's still going to be a scholar. But he has learned how to balance his fighting, his training, and his, his, uh, what's it called, his studies. Goten on the other hand is just like Goku. He has to study, of course, but he will rather train a lot, and this is where it uh, rubs off differently. Now, Goten himself is pretty much as strong as Super Saiyan 2 Gohan from the Buu Saga at this present time. Oh, uh, sorry, at the uh, at the Cell Saga at this present time. But Gohan, he's really strong. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lowball him, Gohan, because Goku was there for for the eight years. I'm gonna state that Gohan Super Saiyan, because they all have Super Saiyan 2, they all have cracked in. But Gohan Super Saiyan 2 is relative to Goku Super Saiyan 3, okay? In canon. But none of the drawbacks. Vegeta, he's just here. Yeah, he's way stronger. He's, he's as strong as his super beginning counterpart. Where he surpasses Goku. Vegeta's just ridiculously strong. And so, as Piccolo gets a hold of them, he talks to them, all of them via telepathy and tells them the situation. Gohan um, is happy that he Piccolo has... Has informed him, but Gohan has it busy. And Goku understands, he tells him, Don't worry, we got this. Goten, <laughs> listen to your mother. And Goten says, But dad! And Goku instant transmission away. He said, I don't want to go to school. I want to train and become strong. And Gohan leans over to Goten and goes, You're going to get your time, don't you worry. You have a unique power within yourself. You may not be immortal like dad, but thanks to dad's immortal healing, you have the ability to heal much more faster and great grow stamina, much quicker than any other any other Saiyan, Goten. So there there is that there. Goten also go and he goes, Okay, I, I got you, big brother, thank you. And so what happens is and so with Go Goten happy with what Gohan had to say, back with uh Carlos lookout, Goku appears on the lookout. And as, as soon after Vegeta does as well. When Goku walks over, he immediately sees Shin. 
Shin sees Goku and sees just this immense power. There's a limitless world cup. We don't even see the two and he can't help but remark about us. And the Vegeta appears and it's, it's just astonishing. Kibuya goes, I've never known any mortal to be this powerful. And Piccolo goes, trust me, these two are more powerful than they look, Kibuya. Yeah, Vegeta, Goku. Vegeta goes, hmm. So where is this place anyway? And he goes, it took me a while, but I managed to find it. Thanks to Baba, Baba gave me a tracking device in a sense to find it. And I located them. They're down there. The Vegeta goes, hmm. Just when my brother is about to leave, this happens. Lucky the Namekian is the reason why I'm here. And Goku smiles. <laughs> you just wanted to battle too, Vegeta. And Vegeta goes, <laughs> Of course I do. I'm saying. I'm not going to give up my pride just because I, I'm, I'm growing soft. Hell no. And Goku smiles. And so they head off. The Goku and uh, Vegeta head off. Um, what happens is Supreme Kai was going to come. But Goku looks at him and goes, it's not a good idea. And if you're the god of gods and everything like that, it won't be wise for you to come and get yourself killed now, would it? And it shouldn't take a year, I get you. So up here Piccolo, me and Vegeta got this. And they head down. And as they head down, what happens is they land. Goten immediately lands by them as well. It goes like, Goten, what are you? And he goes, it's alright, Dad, come on. And Vegeta's like, <laughs> you have one of those two, a eh, Kakarot? And he goes, yeah, I do. And he goes, you son no Super Saiyan? He goes, yeah, Super Saiyan. Uh, I'm a Super Saiyan annoying. <laughs> and Vegeta goes, yeah, my son Trunks, he fooled me. Now I have to take you to a damn theme park. And Goku's, but Goku laughs and Vegeta's like, <laughs> they both look at each other and Goku goes, go, go ten, go home now. And as that happens, go home lands. And what happens is Vegeta's like, wow, how are you doing, kid? And goes like, hey, 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 Vegeta, I'm doing good. Go ten. My mom wants you. Goku's like, Mwah! no fair! I never get to have fun. And Goku's like, you come here, you come after all son. He goes, I well, I came to get him, but now that I'm here, let's go check this out. And Vegeta smiles and goes, just like a typical Saiyan. <laughs> and so what goes down is they head out. Vegeta and them um, heading to um, near towards um, Barbary's ship, and this is where Dabura comes to try to spit on them. But Vegeta immediately senses it. He deflects the um, the spit away using the key barrier. The push um, the boy away and then Vegeta backhands the boy straight into the ground. Vegeta's like, damn coward. Only a coward will do that. The boy gets up, being injured from Vegeta's backhand. Right, but he's about to attack, but Bobby's like, no, this is good, this is good. That power that he got from striking you is the power we need to revive Boo. All of you, come through the ship. We'll invite them and the challenge them one by one and take their energy. <laughs> And so what happens is, one by one, Goku, Vegeta, and Gohan are, are, are instantly taken on, are picked upon in a sense. Unfortunately for Babidi, Gohan's way too strong. One punch on him ends Poipo's life. Yakon is killed by Goku, I mean, he just does a power up. And when it comes to the Vegeta, um, Vegeta fighting Deborah, this is where things are going to change. Out walks Abo and Cardi, and they smile and they're like, hmm, it's been a while since we've seen you two. And Vegeta's like, Abo. Kari, I thought you went to Planet Tech Tech with my brother. And now uh, what happens is they smile, they say nothing, and they look at each other and they walk over and they begin to merge. They merge into a strong version of themselves. And doing so, Vegeta's like, <laughs> so simply you're gonna power up and fight me. Remember what happened last time you fought us? Kakarot almost killed you. And they get so angry and they power up. They rush at Vegeta and Vegeta's like, very well then, Vegeta powers up Super Saiyan and lands a real mighty punch at them. And in doing so, Vegeta does a spirit fusion and, and forcefully uh, um, separates them. But at the same time, he, he, the, his spirit fusion forces the magic out of them. The uh, Majibu mark. And for a brief moment, they go back to themselves and they, they plead for Vegeta to rescue them, to save them. And then the Majibu mark comes over and they go back to their being their ways. And Vegeta's like, I'm coming. And then Deborah jumps in the way and spits on Vegeta. Vegeta manages to block it. But he, his arm begins to turn to stone. And just before Vegeta dies, Vegeta appears right in front of Deborah, grabs Deborah's face and holds it, and he goes, If I'm not dying, you're coming with me! Boom! Vegeta does one massive big bang, blows up Deborah's head and body. Vegeta turns to stone, and then returns back into a human form. Vegeta hits the ground, he's like, Hah. And then Abba and Kaidi begins to kick Vegeta and beat him down, smashing him around. Vegeta tries to attack, but because of um, the fact that he was just turned to stone, his body's in a fatigue state, and so Vegeta sluggish is missing all his shots, missing all his attacks. 
can't do nothing to them. It gets really annoyed, but it's the reality that he's facing right now. And as Vegeta goes to throw a punch, what happens is um, the merge Abu and Kadi uh, manage to grab it, bites Vegeta's hand, and throws him or th spins him around. And as Vegeta hits the wall, he, uh, his back turn, Abu and Kadi does that massive uh, Waha attack, his big cannon, and shoots it at Vegeta's back multiple times, damaging Vegeta badly. Vegeta's a. He finally recovers, and as the last attack is about to hit him, what ends up happening is Goku appears in front of him and cuts him in half. Vegeta's like, I didn't need your help, Kakarot. Goku puts his hand over Vegeta and begins to heal him, and he goes, you haven't noticed Vegeta, have you? And Vegeta's like, what? Goku heals Vegeta, and Vegeta stands up, fully healed, and Abba and Kai are like, well, the merge version like, what the hell? Vegeta looks right at them, and a blink of an eye appears, instantly turns Super Saiyan, he punches their gut, forcefully separates them both, and as they both separate, Vegeta punches them both really hard in the face, like good five time each. But one is for Vegeta's gratification, and two is to, to force Barbary's magic out of them. And indeed, it works. Barbary's magic gets forced out of both of them. They're both looking at Vegeta and they're crying, apologizing. And Vegeta goes, It wasn't your fault. And as they happen, what happens is Barbary's already happy. He's achieved his goal. Majin Buu has been resurrected and he's floating around. Abu Kadia, like, on the ground, and Majibo goes, hmm, those two could be perfect candy. But Jesus like, you're not touching them. He goes, you're not stopping me. Majibo explodes, destroying Babidi's ship, and he, and after Vegeta and them get out of there, and they manage to, for the dust to settle, Vegeta and them look down, and they see uh, Majibo eating two cookies. Abu and Akari. Vegeta gets angry, and he shoots a massive key blast, but Boo laughs and bounces a little way, and tells him, that's cute. Catch this, Vegeta. Vegeta's like, huh? Instantly shoots a, de uh, uh, um, a chocolate beam, but Vegeta manages to dodge it, and Majin Buu ma makes it track Vegeta. And Vegeta, what the hell? And uh, uh, Vegeta de um, pretty much does a smart, a smart move where he de deflects it into B uh, Buu, but Buu manages to make it flick around him, and it accidentally hits Barbary. Vegeta lands, Buu catches Barbary and goes, I should really undo this, but oh well. He eats, eats Barbary immediately, and he instantly transforms. A sinister looks and looks over, goes over Buu's face and goes, I see now. I am the, the ultimate destroyer bean. <laughs> My name is Majin Buu. And as Goku, Vegeta, and look on, Buu smiles, having uh, absorbed Barbary and has his evil intention. And as he begins to look at proceed and power up, this is where I'm going to leave this one off, guys. I hope you guys like this. Please like and subscribe, leave a comment down below. And yeah, please take care of you guys, selves, and don't do nothing stupid, <laughs> I guess. And I hope you guys stay tuned for my next videos. But as usual guys, this is Dr. Kahu saying peace.